is the Taz Show. Yeah, yeah. Talking wrestling, sports, and beyond. I don't think I would go elimination with it. Uh, Dennis Bean at EX. Thanks, Matt, for calling. What's your opinion on it? I agree because Brock hasn't wrestled longer than 15 minutes. Joe, as great as Joe is, I feel like they would get gassed towards the end. So you No. Okay. Nope. That's the end of that. You're wrong. <laughs> Sorry. All right. But you can continue. Well, there's no sense if I'm you wrong. Go that? Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> Funny. I just think it should be one and done. Uh, nope. No. No. Oh, no, I agree with that part, but you, you made a statement, and hey, you're going to have your own show one day, so talking wrestling, so <laughs> oh, nah. I'd love to hang out. Nah, maybe not. It's more uh, meat-related. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meat, oh, meat-based why, wrestling. Why, tell me who's going to be gassed and how and why. Well, I just I think that... What I, I just love how you just threw that out there. Like, oh, well, Brock has a wrestle past 15 minutes, and Joe, well, and all of a sudden you turn to Seth, and Joe... <laughs> <laughs> and, then Joe would get, and Joe, and Joe uh, will get gassed. That's kind of what you said, didn't you? Yes, that, that's exactly what I said. And then, why in the f would you even think that? Because they're big. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big guy. I get gassed, dude. Oh. You're out of your mind if you think because these guys are bigger guys that they're going to get tired in the ring. That's not this. These guys are <laughs> the ring shape. These guys are in because of how much they work. And how much training and cardio they do and ring work is better than getting on a pre-core or a treadmill. But, dude, I'm telling you right now, it's not about endurance. That's not why sometimes guys don't go a long time. It's not about how big they are. They, they, just because you're a big guy, don't compare yourself to one of those big guys. They're world-class athletes, sir. You're not. Brock, some would say, well, Brock's not on a full-time schedule. You don't work house shows. That's true. But I'm telling you, Brock, okay, look, this is a whole other top. No, 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 don't laugh, ginger man. Okay, listen to me. Because it's a very, very sensitive topic for wrestlers that are veterans. The cardio thing is something, it's, I'm going to give you some real inside baseball here. Okay. <clears throat> Most of the time, when wrestlers get tired in the ring or blow up or they're fatigued or whatever, or it's usually the guys that are inexperienced. And none of these guys are inexperienced. Maybe Braun a little bit, and he is a large man, but he has had a lot of big match experience at a young age, at a young wrestler age. So I won't even call him green or inexperienced. He's been in the, under the bright lights. I'm letting you know, Dennis, for a fact, and anybody out there listening to me, the cardio of wrestlers, no matter how big or small, 99% of the time is not here. It's here. It's in their brain. It's the confidence. Because they're all in shape. <laughs> you know, you don't get to that level without being uh, in legitimate shape. No matter if a guy has abs or he doesn't, trust me, they're in shape. They are in shape. Joe's in shape. Trust me. Ring shape is no joke. No joke. Joe can go all day. I used to wrestle in ECW, right? And for a good run, whatever title I had, either the world title or the ECW.